Welcome back to another episode of Last Day Out of Survival. Today we back with the double weapon. That is right. So I decided I should make another account and grind this dude up to level 20 since our original account is still going to be struggling just a little bit. This time around, though, I want to check out if potentially having a different uh, different stuff in our inventory will determine the type of base that we end up raiding or if it's going to be a similar one Which maybe level determines or maybe it's totally random regardless though We are coming relatively well prepared and I think we're good to go with all of these hatchets and whatnot That uh, we'll be able to roll with and actually really quickly Can I craft up any more because I might be able to like I don't mind ditching these hatchets if we come home with some doper and uh, Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're gonna do So we got enough fuel here if I can grab one more wood to get two more hatchets and then we will talk to these dudes I don't care if our base ends up being raidable right now. We don't have anything super amazing So I wouldn't be too worried, but uh, this time around we're gonna do something different I want the raiders to get their revenge because supposedly if you don't give them any good loot back They do not end up being happy campers. So I'm thinking uh we might uh, screw him a little bit this time around and try to get all the loot for ourselves. Look, I'll mark another survivor's base on the map. He's not in now. You take anything you find there, but I'll get my share for the lead. Sure thing, definitely. Your base will be seen on the map, but other survivors will be able to attack it. Sure thing. We'll talk when you finish. Hell yeah. So something that I didn't know I want to talk about uh, since the last video, some more information that I was able to find out about the update. So this thing that pops up here, uh, this is available for eight hours. Here's the thing. After you go there and leave, like after you you leave that area so if i'm like if i go from here uh i go to the forest for example that will disappear and you will not be able to go there anymore so you have pretty much one shot to raid everything that you can inside and after that yeah things are gonna be looking pretty poopy not the greatest for you uh also i did learn that apparently these are people are saying that these this isn't other people's bases it's AI, so maybe it's... I I will have to figure out in the coming days how that works. Maybe the only AI we have to worry about raiding our base is actually going to be the raiders if we anger them or something. And look at that. Yeah, so we came here with some stuff. Hold on. It's actually all open. We should be able to go here. Oh, someone left their door open because we can see inside. At least I think. We might be able to... We might need to, like, break one wall, but I'm just trying to minimize... The amount of breaking that we got, dude, we can see he's got some spikes up and running. He's got a doorway over here. Is there any wall openings or is this all like this? But some people are thinking that maybe these are just prefabs that Kafir put together. Maybe this is just random people's bases and it's being based off that. But this dude's entire base is open. So now here's the issue, though. We need to pick and choose very carefully what we want to take and what we want to leave. Because the longer we stay here... The more aggressive things get, and that's not good. So I'm just trying to look through the entire area. That's nifty that we got really lucky and we don't even have to break a single thing. Looks like he has presents under his Christmas tree. Don't really care. I care about opening these puppies up. Now, we'll see just how much. I'll exit out as soon as this is done because I want to see how much our... Uh, okay, so it goes up most of that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are a total of 10. So it looks like 10 is the lucky number. 10 is the magic number of things you'll be able to loot before the big one decides to disappear. Because we get, there's 10 blocks and we get just under one block per thing that we open. So hopefully one of these big chests have something good and we don't just get screwed. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll be taking some of that with us. I thank you kindly there, sir. Ooh, some of them tickets too. Not a lot of reds, but we got some other stuff. The wrench is 100%. We're going to be taking uh, maybe a bunker alpha card. I might... Uh, yeah, we'll just find one of those in the wild. Remember, all right, we're on a raid. When we're doing this, we definitely want to take the most valuable thing that we can. I also think after this happens, we're going to have some enemies to fight. And again, reminder, you have to raid with the silencer. Otherwise, you're going to make way too much noise for your own good. That is not good yeah so the silencer will not raise your threat slash horde level that will just be normal you get a ton of xp out of these guys though which is awesome like, look at that how much is the floater bloater gonna give us for killing them here 500 hot diggity dog to be fair we do have the boost going but still so you want to be very selective and very careful with what you are opening and we do have another floater bloater here we also have to be careful because these hordes are gonna ooh get taken out midair these hordes are going to be uh getting progressively harder and harder but i think i know the chests i want to open hopefully that'll end up well i mean we'll have to see at the end of the day because it's just going to keep on bringing more noise towards us and hopefully we find some water in one of these chests because i don't want to loot something specifically for water but okay 
I'll take some charcoal for now. I'll definitely swap that out later. But I definitely wouldn't mind some water. Like, I'm not going to open that up. No siree, but I wouldn't mind some. And in terms of chests, it doesn't look like this guy has... I don't know. Like, how many chests total does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 on the dot. We might actually be able to loot everything he has and really pick from all his best stuff. Like, there have to be some weapons in one of these things. So, we kind of lucked out. So, we didn't have to use one of our hatchets. If we did, that would have added more to the noise level and things would not have been good. So, we got actually ridiculously lucky. But let me know in the comments, especially if you guys ever find a similar prefab to the one I do or like a similar base to the one I do. Because maybe it's just like a huge set of presets that Kafir made or maybe these are literally... Maybe they're modeled after other people's bases in-game, but, like, you can't do anything with it yet. Or, uh, you can't do anything to their actual base. Maybe their base, their actual supply is only affected by raiders, but what you get is affected by what's in there at the moment. But you're not actually taking from them. You're just taking the items that they have in their base, but you're not taking it from their base, you know? I, I think that's how it works. That seems to be the case, and I think we're gonna have some more people coming after us. Hell yeah to the medkits, though! Definitely taking those. Uh, are they coming after us, or do we have a little bit more time before all hell breaks loose? I think we have a little bit of time, comrade. That's good. We still haven't found a weapon chest or anything, which is kind of disappointing. I like the jerky and stuff. Don't get me wrong. I don't know. Ooh. We might actually uh, bring those turkeys back home. That's a full heal, especially since I'm planning on, you know, angering the raiders a little bit. I imagine they won't be the biggest fans of me soon. Uh, please, weapons. So Ooh. That is a stockpile, if I have ever seen one. Uh, oh, no, they're taking my pants. They are taking my pants. So, yeah, make sure that you come here with enough weapons. I got some weapons in my inbox. Make sure that they are silenced. Oh, wait, what? 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 How? Why is their threat level getting raised? I don't know. What? Hold the phone. Every time they hit us, our threat level goes up? Well, uh, that's not good. Why was that happening? Is it because we're naked? Is it the lack of pantalones that just makes them love me? That was really weird, and this is very bad because we're at the threat level where the big one appears. Ah, uh, you know, let's hop, let's heal up a little bit. Let's hop. This might be all that we're actually getting out of it. Dang, man! All right, we we messed up somewhere. Maybe we just we didn't have the best silenced weapons. To be fair, don't worry. When we do a raid on the main account, because again, we gotta wait for those raiders to come back on the main account. So I've been trying to do it uh, through a couple things here. So let's eat a turkey up real quick. We got our first aid kits. Let's go in. Is the blind one gonna... Is it because we smell really bad? No, because in the other raid we smelled super bad. Why is... Why is it now, like, you know, raising us so much? I don't know, but you can hear... You can see those, like, giant thuds. Yeah, that's the big one. Oh, mama! Yeah, no, we am... We are not doing anything with that. Although, we might be able to maybe get them... Weren't there some spikes up here? Maybe we could get them to hurt themselves on some spikes? Or was that... Am I mistaken? Yeah, there are some spikes here. There is a chance. Ah, it was getting dangerous. I think every time we get hurt, it adds to the danger level. Is that what it was? Maybe. So maybe next time we got to be very careful not to get hurt. Oh, it looks like the big one got a little bit hurt. I don't think that's going to really help us much, though. Uh, I, I, yeah, he doesn't really get hurt on the wall. Oh, he might have just got stuck, actually. No, he, he is not stuck anymore. Dang it. I, I don't know. We're going to have to... I, I think we got to go. I would have loved to get some more stuff. I think we missed out on the weapon crates. So something is up. Maybe it's like, I don't know, because we got hit a couple of times. I think it's like, if you don't have armor and you're getting hit, something happens. But, it is, but you see, there's no more timer over the thing. As soon as we go away from here, uh, we're going to head on back to the base. As soon as we go away, it disappears in only a couple of seconds. So the timer goes down super low, and there's no more opportunity for that. So we're coming home with not the greatest stuff, but to hell with it. Uh, we, we missed out on some... There, there had to have been some guns there, dude. Everyone has a gun chest. I don't think that that man's going to be an exception. But here's where the exception comes to play. Uh, I'm going to be talking to this dude right here. And what we're going to do from there is uh, we're going to anger him and see what happens. Also, on my main account, while we do wait for the Raiders to come back, I was thinking maybe tomorrow we stream and me just doing a ton of bunker runs, trying to get our hands on some C4. That's something I'm going to have to do, and also maybe a little bit of base proof. And let me know what you guys would think in regards to a stream or something like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you nothing. Next time, make a fair share. Oh, he's got a grenade launcher, dude. How did he give me? Give me. No, he's not giving to me. See, I wonder if he's going to come back with the grenade launcher. Because here's what happens. At least I think. Now I think that there are going to be raiders coming after. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. In two hours, the raiders 
will arrive at our base. Raiders can break your walls and steal things from chests. You have to strengthen your house and place traps in order to protect from attacks. Or another thing that I would actually love to do. So I think that's the gang of Raiders that might have came after us, but who knows. Uh, another thing that I would actually love to do here is wait for them to come. Whip out a rather powerful weapon and maybe some good armor. You know, whip out some better armor here. But uh, the main thing is I have a mini gun hidden in the one chest I have. So I was thinking uh, maybe we try to go to war a little bit. We might be able to. Unless that dude has a grenade launcher. In which case that might not go in our favor. But that's what happens. If you do not give the raiders a quote unquote fair share. Which I don't know what that fair share is. We might need to try and figure out exactly what a good number for that is going to be. But uh, we got to figure out what the hell to do with that and how much we got to give them as tribute every time. Because right now, I don't have much of an idea. And this dude can and these people can come and break our chests and stuff, which is, I don't know, really, really not good. Uh, so hopefully we don't die. I'm going to keep that hatchet on us for the next raid we do. I'm probably going to try to cycle through a couple of these accounts and make sure that we can actually do more raids than usual. So we can see the huge variety of bases, see if there's any like cool base builds that we might be able to like really hard to build and overall i'm gonna be trying to do a lot of thinking as well if you guys can help out with this that'd be awesome in the comments uh regarding what a good base design type of structure is because you got to keep in mind too that when it comes to building your bases and how that's going to work i'm guessing the more walls you have the better it doesn't even necessarily have to be like i don't know also i don't think eh, do we need mm, i don't know uh but it doesn't even necessarily have to be the strongest walls but maybe just a lot of walls because then if other people try to raid your base all that's going to happen is that it's going to be very hard to do because well you're, every time you break a wall you're going to make some noise maybe just tons of doorways might be the new meta but i don't know if these raiders coming after us they might be ai they might not follow the same rules. They might just come in and mess stuff up to a certain degree. Like a zombie horde. Oh, crap. They gonna go crazy. That's for sure. But uh, let me know in the comment section. Since today is a double upload type of day. Mm -hmm, mm hmm You heard right. It's a double upload type of day. Since that is today, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. All that jazz. And make sure that like button and you are subscribed to be entered into the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. That is right. So usually there's only seven videos a week. Well, there's eight videos this week. Another video for you guys to enter in for this giveaway because we are picking two winners this week. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Two. I'm waving my hand. I don't know why that's supposed to mean two. Two winners this week. So those winners are going to be chosen tomorrow. This is the last video that you guys can enter in on. Feel free to enter in on older videos as well throughout the past week. Like I said, and tomorrow we'll pick two random videos. Two random comments from those two random videos that qualify and did everything that I just said. And uh, those will be announced tomorrow. Message tomorrow. And your choice of Android or iOS tomorrow. But with that, now we got to play a little bit of a waiting game for these raiders to come and see what they have but definitely let me know in the comments especially if you guys would like to see me do a c4 stream try to get our hands on c4 from doing the bunker that type of jazz and potentially another thing that i want to do once we do acquire that c4 all right maybe this is what i'll do tomorrow if tomorrow we do end up doing the stream is that we'll start off with a stream uh to start saturday and then after that what we'll do is um Whatchamacall. After the stream, we'll go ahead and actually do the daily video. So it'd kind of be a stream and a video going up. And then, like I'm saying, hopefully we get some C4 during the stream. And I actually really want to go up north. I don't have it on this account because this isn't my main account. This is just a side account so I could do more raids. Uh, but over here, you guys remember that base and how there's some uh, stone walls and even iron walls that required C4 to break into? Uh... I'm interested in busting into those. Here's the thing I'm scared of, though. I feel like level 4 walls are going to take, like, multiple C4 to break into. I don't know. We'll find out, and hopefully we have multiple C4 to experiment with tomorrow. But that is definitely one of the big whammy items I want to do, especially if the supposed wait time between, like, if you dismiss the raiders when they come to you. I've heard that it's three days that you gotta wait till they pop up again. So if that's the case, I definitely wouldn't mind bringing some of my C4 talents up north and seeing what those have to do. But uh, it's gonna be a little while, so that is why this video might be going up so late. Apologies about that, but we do have to wait literally for me to do this video. It's gonna take two hours longer because I gotta wait for these dudes to pop up at my base and uh, take things from there. So in an hour and 55 minutes, things will get uh, crack-a-lacking. Yeah, they will. So uh, talk to y'all 
in a sec. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The time, almost a little bit over a minute to go until the raiders appear and start raiding us. I've spent some time. I've built up a little bit of a base because I want to see just what these guys are going to have. So we also got ourselves some full SWAT armor. We have Kalashnikov 47. We built up a little bit of a base and we're going to go ahead and try to chill in the base potentially. I don't know if I want to chill in the base or what I want to do with it because when these guys come, Things are going to get sticky, and I don't know if I should, like, stay away from the base at first, but you can see we got the inner base there with the wooden walls that are going to, the level 2 walls that are going to require a better at, uh, hatchet or whatever. We got a bunch of level 1 walls. We got a bunch of random just one-by-one -one rooms. I want to see which ones they go into. I want to try and find out, you know, how the raiders work. And is that, is that, is that a raider? No, just a deer. We're the raiders, man. I'm getting jumpy. Where are they at? It's been a minute, hasn't it? I don't know. I'm getting scared, man. No. I'm looking at the timer. I think we got a couple more minutes to go. I think we'll know when it happens, but uh, when it does, I do wonder what is going to change. Pray for me, boys. I wonder if I die too, if they will come after me. But I'm ready to fend off my land. I will not allow these raiders to just have my stuff. They'll have to take it over my cold, dead body. And they should be coming any moment now. All right, this is pretty weird. Like, I've, I've been waiting here for like another minute. The timer definitely should have reached. They definitely should be here. I wonder if we have to like walk out and walk back in. I feel like that's what's supposed to happen. Cause maybe like it has to, like we have to enter the base in a special mode where we can't like move around our stuff and whatnot. Uh, uh, I don't see any raiders here. That is really weird. Maybe if you're not home when the raiders are home, they don't come or maybe they're just like, yeah, this dude's not worth it. Cause uh, right now, it doesn't look like we're getting raided at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Yeah, looks like they just left us alone. Well, hot diggity dog. Looks like we may have just found ourselves a way to actually have Oh, no. Oh, no. He's coming. Get out of here, raider. Get out. Oh, God. Oh, God. They have guns. They have VSSs. Oh, mama. Mama. Oh, no. They are just breaking through here so quickly. Oh, God. It's just three guys in full SWAT armor. And they just heal every time I hurt them. They have VSSs. They're breaking into every one of my chests. Oh my god, get out of here. Stop yourselves. It looks like once they get down to like around level four, like 40 health, that's when they start like attacking back. Oh mama. Oh mama, look at these guys. You freaking dingus. I'm fighting back. Oh no, did they already break in? Are they leaving? Well, they left with our stuff already. Uh, did they get into the central zone? The central zone lives! Okay, so I don't know why that. Okay, so it looks like how many walls did they break down? Broke down one right there broke down another one right there and another one right there so the raiders that attacked me at least it looks like they brought three low level hatchets at least for the first time let me know in the comments okay how many walls they break through what level walls they break through and let me know what level you are too because i have a feeling that level might play a big part into the type of loot you can get into raids the type of like how powerful the raiders are I feel like that's going to be a big thing in the system because it looks like maybe they did have some level two axes, but maybe they had to use them on the level one walls. Either way, I would say if you want to protect yourself from the raiders, just surround your base and level one walls before they come. By the looks of it, that should keep them uh, pretty occupied. You're going to have to use a lot of their axes on that. And what the level one walls are like one wood a pop. Honestly, just surround your base in as many level one walls as you can. And honestly, if you can, try and make your base in as central of a location as possible. Because that way, what that will do is it'll give you the most room to just build, like, you know. Because, like, let's just say... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's just say, for example, you, like, build... You have a chest here, right? Well, you, you can only put one wall there. You can put, like, a bajillion walls that way, but only one wall there. So that's why a central area is going to be best. Because then you can put the most walls in each direction and honestly i'd recommend just literally in your base add wooden doorways wherever you can like okay it's, it trust me it will get annoying if literally every step that you go you hear constant doors all right luckily we got a little thing here check that out you can shut up the doors if you really want when you're at your own base and then just re-enable sound when you're back right that might be a worthy price to pay because each door they will have to break through it will not impede your movement it might make it a bit more annoying to get to certain chests that you have in certain areas but for the price of safety man i don't know to keep your goods safe it might be but definitely let me know in the comment section uh how many walls the raiders broke what tools they use if they use c4 how many like level one walls they broke level two walls and if they did break in how much stuff they stole from each of your chests so, like if you had a chest with like 10 items 
Maybe they stole five. We gotta try and figure out and work together as a community here on how to best these laters, raiders. Because by the looks of it, here's the thing. Right around 40 health, it looks like they'll use a first aid kit. It looks like they have a ton of first aid kits. Uh, I think the VSS does right around 17 damage to them or something. So here's my theory. If we can get them down to around 400 health, uh, there's a possibility, or around 40 health, there's a possibility we might be able to kill one of them with something a little magical, with something known as the grenade launcher, the thing that does 200 damage, because the VSS, if you guys don't know, there's the VSS, it does 50 damage, all right, and with the fifth, I thought it did 70, I guess I was thinking of the shotgun, uh, it does 50 damage, and from what I saw on think of someone else's video, it does right around 17 to these guys since they are in SWAT armor, so I think you can actually kill them, and I might try to do that, but we're definitely going to need a grenade launcher. I think that is the only weapon that is going to be able to do enough damage because as soon as they get below 40, they will heal. And since the VSS does right around 17, if the VSS does, for example, 15 damage, let's say, right? 15. Okay, 50 goes to 15. Well, the grenade launcher does, whatchamacall, four times as much damage, right? Okay, so 15 times four will lead to at least like 60 damage from the grenade launcher. So if you get these guys down to like, what? Half health even? You might actually be able to stop them. You will literally need the strongest gun in the game, but I do think that it is possible. Even worst case scenario, depending on how much damage the grenade launcher does, it does. it's an area of effect damage too, so you might be able to hit multiple of them. So I think that we're gonna be trying this. I'm gonna try and hopefully get our hands on a grenade launcher and anger some raiders at some point in time, and uh, we'll definitely do that, but I think we might be on to how to defeat these guys. Some people have been saying that they aren't defeatable, that they're too tough, that type of stuff. Well, I mean, I guess we'll have to see. And I wonder, uh, since those guys attacked us, A, is there more raiders coming for us or how's that gonna work because so far at least on my other account no other raiders have started coming after me yeah no other raiders have started coming after me in here so i think just anytime you i think the only way your base can get raided the only way that you can lose items at least as of right now from the knowledge we have again as I continue finding out more, as we as a community continue finding out more, spread that info in the comments until I can spread it in a video and make sure that everyone knows as much up-to-date info as we can. But honestly, by the looks of it, the only way your base can be raided is if you don't give the raiders their fair share of loot and then they sick some raiders against you. Because if you keep giving them good loot, not only will your reputation with them go up and they'll like you more and they might even give you uh, coordinates of better bases with better loot, but they will not sick these dogs on you, these savage raiders. I think I remember in the update, the dev blog, they said that like, hey, uh, you know, uh, if you treat them right, if you give them good loot, then they won't reveal your base location to others. So I think as long as you keep on giving them good loot, you should be good to go. So I think there might actually be a way to be able to tell how much these guys, uh, these guys end up needing when they end up talking to you in the lower, in the like bottom of the map at your area. Uh, I think like depending on what they say, it will let you know if you have given them enough. So I'm gonna try to cover that in a future video as well. Make sure to stick around that. So that video is gonna be telling you guys how to make sure that you never get raided. Uh, but and we're also gonna do definitely how to kill the raiders. But in the meantime, how to make is raid proof of a base if possible like i'm saying here just put doors everywhere all right because then that just makes a bajillion one by one blocks and the way that the raiders work is that they want to gain access to these new areas so when they broke this right when they broke this they then learned about all of these blocks all of these tiles right here and what they had and they found out okay they don't have chests so they moved on trying to find chests that's their goal they want to find chests and they will do that by breaking down unknown areas now i think the window may have actually screwed this up because they could look through the window and see that there is no loot here maybe but i'm not 100 sure if looking through the window lets them know but that is how they function they're gonna try to get into these unknown areas make them known and see if there are chests in there so if every area is just a one by one door block they're gonna have to break through so many areas and they're only gonna get access to a couple of quote unquote blocks before they then run out of stuff run away just restock the blocks with some one by one with uh just one piece of wood a pop because all that it takes to build a door is one wood so all this is a thing that is the best way to make your base raid proof and if you're just trying to keep your goods safe in general 
by the looks of it, I like, did they loot anything from here? Um, no, it doesn't look like they're too interested in the old pickup truck either. So for now, the pickup truck, like, it looks like they're exclusively looking for chests and other stuff. The pickup truck doesn't look to be on their poop list unless all this, unless they just hate tape or something. I don't know. So uh, the pickup truck might be safe. Don't quote me on this. I'm just saying from what we're seeing here in the first raid that we experienced. And then, of course, uh, Bunker Alpha and Bunker Bravo and really any area that doesn't respawn. So the players' bases could work too, but you never know. Kafir might actually uh, respawn the bases at some point as some updates come out in the future. Same goes with like Bunker Alpha and stuff though, uh, Bunker Bravo, but technically speaking, you should be able to store your stuff at those bunkers, but just be warned, you're not supposed to. Like that's not the purpose of them. So at some point it might reset. Hopefully Kafir would tell us, but they don't have to because that was never the purpose of the bunkers and what they were supposed to do. But with that, there's a great point for us that I should go ahead and end this video off on since we did just survive and experience our first raid. And at this point, it is gonna be a little bit of a waiting game until the raiders pop up to talk to us again. I'm gonna be checking in daily with these guys and whatnot, but definitely let me know in the comments what you guys would think about a stream tomorrow where we try to get some C4 from Bunker Alpha. And then I'd love to take that C4 up north. Like there's so many cool things. Like, like I know it seems like all that, like, all that it added was raid attacking your base but there's so many intricacies because like this raid system is like pretty complex in terms of other like updates that have come because like the raiders are trying to break through your base they have like their own pathfinding ai all that jazz and you can see we lucked out because this inner room stayed safe so long story short just make sure that there are a maximum amount of walls between your best loot and the outside world and the best way of doing that is these one by one little blocks little units so to speak, but I definitely let me know if you guys want to see a C4 stream of us just clearing Bunker Alpha up poop hole. Totally down for that tomorrow. In addition to another video, that wouldn't be the video for tomorrow. I just kind of want to gauge that. Maybe do the first ever stream that we've ever done. And uh, hopefully the cooldown is in three days. Like I've heard, hopefully the Raiders come back a little bit sooner and we're able to talk to them from then. But other than that, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all time for watching. That's a fantastic day. Best of luck joining the Chopper Squadron. Best of luck spreading that positivity and being the fan freaking fantastic people that I know that you are. And uh, just best of luck being wonderful. Talk to you guys in the next one. See it. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. There we go. <laughs> See it.